Hi. In one of my previous videos, I was showing more of a proof of concept of a program that I use called Sekuli. Sekuli's power is in automating keyboard and mouse items that become repetitive. And uh, I have a program that I use quite frequently for my uh, astronomy logging called Observation Manager. I'll put a link in the uh, description bar. And I love this program a lot. Um, but there's a few things that I find that are more tedious than um, I care to, to actually deal with on a re recurring basis. So what I did was I wrote a Sekuli program to automate a lot of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and um, mention a couple of the highlights of this because uh, it shows some of the power of it. So right now, I am not typing. You can probably hear the no, no keyboard sounds. Uh, one of the things that was interesting was the um, interactiveness of it. You can actually have it uh, prompt the user for some input here, which it's going to do. So effectively, the automation is waiting for user input, and it will continue to wait for user input until I click the OK button. Uh, and the reason for that is because it was hard to pattern match a date. So I'm going to pick today, which is August 1st, and then I'll say OK, and it's going to continue to go. Now, what it's doing here is filling out the time automatically for me. It's essentially reading the current time from the operating system, which was uh, a little bit of a trick for me to do. Um, it's kind of neat because you can now do a lot of other things with the operating system. So I'll, uh, I'll do an all night observation here, go through till tomorrow. And uh, now I can actually do a dialog box here. So it'll fill in a little fake end time for me. I'll, I'll end tomorrow morning at, let's say, 7 o'clock. And some of the other things that were more tedious were uh, templates, essentially reusing the same fields and the same equipment again and again. So here it clicks into the weather field and pastes all of the uh, templated weather information, all the equipment, and this is all defined in Sekuli for me, and I pasted it from Sekuli into Observation Manager. Now at this point, I filled out a basic session. We'll go ahead and save it. It saved so quick you didn't even see it. Now create an observation. Now here, um, it's getting close to Jupiter season, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, have it automatically pick Jupiter, but come other seasons I can program Sekuli to, to pick whatever I want. And now for the session, we're going to fill out, uh, we'll end it tomorrow again. There we go. And it'll go ahead and pick the scope that I typically use, the uh, magnification or the eyepiece the power main. So now you get a little insight into some of my equipment as well. Uh, again, this is doing it all automatically. I had to uh, have a pattern matching set up for each of these fields so that it would click and tell me all the things that are doing and now it's done. Thanks. Uh, if you want uh, any info on this, I might do a kind of how to get started with Sekuli in the future, but uh, essentially here is the script. There's all the things that it pastes in. Uh, I'll provide links to this if, if uh, anybody wants it. Enjoy.